cookies per day. Right. There are the requirements for children of various ages. But before we take a look at them, I have to make sure that you know what a calorie is. What's a calorie? I think it's body heat. Pretty close, yes. Calories are units of heat. It can be heat that came from any place, inside your body, from coal or fire or any kind. That's calorie. That means heat. Okay. And here are the number of calories that you need every day to get from your food. Where do you fit? Well, I'm 12, so I'd fit right here. Yeah. So I'd need 1,800 to 2,400 calories per day. All right. Now, what, what happens to those calories when you eat them? You store them for energy. Yes, you use them for energy. If you eat too many of them, you store them as fat. That's why people count calories. Then you're also, uh, you're warm, right? Right. You have a temperature. Yes. Right. And so the calories are used to do that. But you lose a lot of them every day. So it's a, we're going to look at what happens to the heat that's given off by your body. And I don't know, have you had this yet? Various methods of getting heat from one place to the other? Not yet. Okay, well, here's a hot iron, so be careful. Okay. We can use it to illustrate most of the ways that heat gets from one place to the other. First, conduction. If you took your finger and you touched the iron, which you don't want to because it's right. hot, <laughs> if you touched it, the heat would be transferred from the steel plate of the iron over to your finger. That's conduction. Okay. okay. Next, convection. convection. The iron is heating up the air over here, so you okay. take your hand and put it up here. Feel the heat? Yes, it's warm. Okay, the air is flowing up there and heating up your hand. That's convection. Next, evaporation. Hold out your hand. Here is some rubbing alcohol. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it feel cool? Yes. Yeah. Now, the reason why it feels cool, it's taking heat from your body. You see, in order for the little alcohol molecule to evaporate, which means jump off into the air and go away, right? That's what <laughs> evaporation is. It has to get heat from someplace. So it's taking it from your skin. And that's why it feels oh. cool. The same thing happens when you perspire. Perspiration comes out here and evaporates, and that's what makes you cool. So that's the okay. third method. What's the last one? Radiation. Now take your hand and put it by the iron, but don't touch it. And just keep moving it closer and closer until you can feel the heat. Right there. Right there. Now, invisible uh, rays are coming from the iron. When they hit your hand, they're changed to heat. Oh. And that's radiation. Okay. So there are the four methods uh, how you get rid of heat every day. Let's move this iron out of the way because it's hot and I don't okay. want to get Now, what I'd like you to do is to make an educated guess as to what the percentages are of how you lose heat. I have the correct answers over there under these little yellow pieces of paper. And I want to have you write your guess over here. Okay. If each one were 25%, you'd end up with 100, right? Right. So you go ahead. Here's a pen, and you write your best guess as to the various ways you lose heat. Conduction. is That's when heat travels from one thing directly to Touching, another. Touching, right. Okay. So I'd say about 30. Okay. Here, move, let me get over a little closer so you don't have to lean over so Okay. Far. That's 30. What's next? Convection. That's when when the heat heats up the air. So I'd say 25. Okay. So I have 55 left. Evaporation. You have 45 left. Careful. Oh, oh 45 left. Yes. <clears throat> um, I'd say a bigger margin, like 35. Wow. And, and radiation, 10. Okay. Now we okay. will see how close you are to being right. Because under here are the correct answers. Three percent? Yes. Isn't that surprising? Yes. Well, not really when you realize that about the only thing you're, you're heating up by, by conduction is your clothing. Oh. Right? Yes. Okay. Twelve percent? Twelve percent by, oh, con no. by, con by uh, convection. After all, when you have your clothes on, the air can't flow next to your body very easily. So that's one of the reasons why you wear clothes, to keep that convection from carrying away the heat. So that okay. was 12. Well, I'm closer here. Evaporation. You're, you're closer, you were a little high, but 25% after all, the only time that that really makes a big difference is when you perspire and you're actually having yes. something that can evaporate. So you can almost tell by making some calculations uh -huh. what this one's going to be. Right. 60%. Yeah, 60%. And doesn't that seem amazing? Yes. In fact, it's been estimated 
that a, no a normal adult gives off about as much heat as a 100-watt light bulb. And you know how much heat that is. Yes. It's all radiation. In fact, there's an old, old saying, if you uh, want to keep your feet warm on a cold winter day, wear a hat. You see why? Yes. Because your head is radiating a lot of heat. So those are the various ways that you lose body heat.